movie was being filmed in Regina named Cage Fighter. Tomorrow on Fight TV, it's doing a premiere in every region but the United States. This movie features Gina Gershaw, Gershaw Chocolate Liddell. Little Liddell. Liddell, John Moxley, Christian, Luke Rockhold, and Saskatchewan actors. We are here with Alex Montanini from the movie Cage Fighter. You have a background in contenders MMA. For those of us in North America, can you describe the promotion? Pardon me? Um, you have a background in contenders MMA. For those of us yeah. in North America, can you describe the promotion? Uh, the promotion is a very nice, very good promotion. It's still up and coming in um, in America. They're having their first show in uh, what's supposed to be in Florida on April 25th, which is just gone. But uh, thanks to this virus, um, it's been postponed. So, um, yeah, you guys will get to know the promotion even more as this year goes on, hopefully, or early next year. But it's, it's, it's good. It's going to be uh, held in the Civic Center in Fort Myers. So it's quite a big arena. I think 8,000 CR. Alex, we call comic, a comic book origin story a brief description of how something came to be. What is Cage Fighter's comic book origin story? Cage Fighter's comic book origin story? Um, oh, man. You put me on the spot now. <laughs> what, what would their origin story be? Um... Um, I've I've been thrown. You guys have thrown me off. Tell you, you tell me how you think it should go down. Tell me. How did, how did the movie, movie come, come to be? be? All right, how it came to be. Jesse uh, Canones, he uh, wrote it a few years ago. Um, we made a little short um, to you know get um, funding and everything. Took a long time to come about, uh, but through persistence, hard work, and amazing producers. Uh, it finally happened. Uh, I came on board as the fight choreographer initially, and I had a small role in it acting. And then um, the lead guy before who was cast, he uh, had to pull out, and um, they then cast me. So uh, I became the lead, and then we got all the amazing cast and crew together, and that's uh, that's how the film came about. Had you planned to be an actor before this? Yeah, I've been acting for about uh, seven years now. So, um, but I've only been in like indie and short films. So this was kind of like my my uh, big break, you could say, in the acting world. What drew you to becoming an actor? I guess I kind of feel it's similar to fighting. You have to prepare for your um, your role, similar to I prepare for my fights. Uh, but uh, with acting, you don't actually get punched in your face, so uh, I enjoy it much more. And um, and I guess you get to go into into a role and be someone else, you know, and create some magic on screen and bring some joy or some uh, emotion into someone else's life. So yeah, that's that's why I want to be an actor or well, being an actor. Was this your first time in Regina when you came here to film a movie? You arrived in November. How was the weather? Yeah, it was my first time. I'd never heard of Regina before. Um, and yeah, I've never, of course, I'd never been there. So yeah, when I arrived, it was it was cold. It was cold. I think in the UK, the coldest ever gets is like minus two. So um, the weather really hit me when I, when I got off the plane. It was cold. Yeah, it's always cold in Regina. Even on hot night, hot days. <laughs> Can you tell us about the premiere on Fight TV? This is for, like, outside of the United States only. Yeah, yeah. So, outside of the United States, um, it's going to be shown in the UK, I think Europe, um, some parts of Asia and Australia. Uh, so in the UK, it's starting tomorrow at 7 p.m. I think in Regina, it's starting at at uh, um, 4, 4 p.m. Um, and it's, it's going to be a one-night premiere only, so make sure you get your tickets. You're going to enjoy it. It's a roller coaster ride of a film. Uh, there's a lot of emotions, lots of ups and downs, but uh, you're all going to love it, I'm sure. 
Bark Andre Furry asks, how old is Caden Louie? My, my dog. Uh, they must be yeah. talking about my dog. Um, he's five, five months old now, so he's a baby still. It's like my little baby. When will the movie premiere in the United States? Um, I think around November. Uh, I think they're going to do a theatrical release, so it will be in cinemas over there. That's what I I believe is happening. But I'm again, I'm not I'm not too sure. There we are. The, there will be a premiere here in Regina. Have you heard? Have you heard if there will be? I I I heard there was going to be. I'm not too sure what's happening now, but I I, I do believe they're going to try and do um a premiere in Regina. I'm pretty sure. And then you guys uh, have to come to me. What was the best part of the Cage Fighter experience for you? I think getting to work with such amazing people, like you said, like Gina Gershon, John Moxley is amazing. Chuck Liddell's amazing. Luke Rockhold, uh, uh, Jay Rizzo. Just, yeah, just working with great people and the different energies and vibes they bring. You know, um, it was it was it was really cool. It was really good. So that's that was probably my my, my favorite part. And again, obviously, landing the role. How hard were the fight scenes to create, mixing MMA and wrestling? It was it wasn't it wasn't too hard because I've been fighting so long, and then again, like I said, having John come in, it was um, it was pretty easy. We 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 rehearsed a few times and we just had it down and we just smashed it out. So I'm sure when you guys you guys watch it, you'll see how we uh, we mix it together. Mm-hmm. I have actually I watched a behind the scenes video and I also watched uh, the trailer. Yeah, yeah, and did you enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it. Were there oh any God. inside jokes uh, born during the making of this movie? Well, any inside jokes? There, there were, but I, I can't say them um, on camera. I think it might be too explicit for young viewers. What would be your dream role? Uh, my dream role, probably playing alongside The Rock. Uh, um, any anything alongside The Rock would be in my dream role. He's he's to me, uh, he's like my idol. I want to have a career like him. So anything with him would be great. And AMND asks, who is your favorite actor? No, and on, on, who is your favorite actor? Alpha and Royal. who is your favorite actor? Alpha Royal asks those both two questions. Uh, who is my favorite actor in the world? Yeah, whole entire world. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Christian Bale or um, Joaquin Phoenix. One of those two. They're they're amazing actors. They they bring so much to their role roles. If you didn't work in MMA or acting, what would you do? Um, if I wasn't an MMA fire or an actor, I don't know. Um. I do. I do something creative. Um. So I'm not too sure what. Maybe. Maybe. I. I maybe I'd still be in sport. Maybe I'd do athletics or something. I was pretty good at athletics as a kid. Um. So maybe I'd go into something like that. If not, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Bark Andre Curry asks, well, "Did you play football growing up?" Yeah, I did. Uh, I think most most kids in the UK play football. But are we talking? American football, are we talking UK, UK football? football? So, so are we, we talking, talking soccer, soccer or, or American, American football? football? Uh, soccer. Soccer, then yeah. Then I played soccer as a kid, yeah. It was, it was, it's, every, every boy played soccer, I think, in the UK. It's, it's a good sport. Do you guys play soccer? Yeah, we used to, actually. I you know what it's called yeah, what soccer position? football. I play rugby, actually. You play rugby? Oh, that's that's wicked. That's wicked. Okay. I love rugby. I used to play rugby as well. Did you get hurt during the the film filming of the yeah, movie? Um, yeah, when when we were filming, I I, I got uh, injured. Um, I think on the second day of the fights, and we still had like three whole days left, uh, so I had to continue on with an injury. So it was yeah, I, I had to. Bring out all of my my manliness and all of my um, inner strength and push through. <laughs> what was the injury? 
Um, it was to do with my my groin and my abs. Um, I uh, yeah, I could barely walk, but yeah, it was it was, it was fun. It was good. It wasn't fun. Sorry, it wasn't fun. I meant no, it was fun. It wasn't fun. Injuries are fun. Yeah, yes, no injuries are fun. Except like one that you get kind of an excuse for. Do you think you'll take more fa- roles in fighting movies after this? Yeah, I hope so. I think I think that's that's the best bet bet for me because um. It's what I do, you know. I love I love martial arts, so I'd love to do um, any any type of uh, action flick or fight movie. After that, would be that would be great, and it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm sure I'll be have to bring a lot of sauce and flavor to any role they give me. If you could make a buddy action movie, who would you be in it with? Who would, who would you, want you want to be with? It with? He's he's not he's not an actor. Well. He kind of is, but it's my friend from back home mm-hmm. called Blake. I'd like to do an action movie with him because he 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 will he will go uh, above and beyond to to probably make the best movie ever. So I'd probably have to say him. Did you comb your hair for this? Yeah, I'm bald. I'm I'm bald. <laughs> who, put, who put that? Put, uh, that, that <laughs> so it's kind of like. That's happened before, and it's always interesting because you never know. Uh, so yeah, a lot yeah. of people have hats on, and plus, I never combed my hair Pardon? except for today. I finally combed my hair. Are you? And it's still slop. Are you tired of washing your I'm, hands? Am I tired of washing my hands? Yeah. No, I, I wash my hands all the time. Anyway, I, I, it's not. It wasn't. It's nothing new. Nothing new for me. So I'm. I'm okay. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm a very clean person. What would be your dream role? I think we said that already. Somebody else asked me. Oh, okay, yeah. What would be my dream role? Um, yeah, any anything action, anything action. Like I said, playing alongside The Rock, maybe his little brother or his cousin or something. That would be amazing. That would be amazing for the people who just asked that. <laughs> You've expressed an interest in maybe getting into professional wrestling. Do you have a preference of WWE or AEW? Oh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get into wrestling for sure, and I'd like to go probably with AEW. I like the new style of wrestling, and I like the and I like the new. Um, the, I, my brain's half dead. I'm so tired. Um, I like the, I like the the people that are wrestling for them. I really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I think that's that's the new way forward. AEW for sure, all the way, a hundred percent. We actually know Cody Rhodes from AEW. No way. Yeah. So basically, we've asked you John to do it. You have two ties to AEW. I know. Come on, get me in there, boys. Get me in there. Last we'll we'll Cody is just. I think we could try. I think it's a go. It's a go. It's a go. Get me that contract sent to me. Come on. Let's do it. We do it. We've been been actually trying to get John on our um our lives. Oh, you should. You should get him. He'll be he'll be he'll be fun. He'll be a lot really interesting. He'll probably be more awake than I am. Uh we're gonna try to get book Tony Khan before the pay per view next week too. So we could ask Oh great. So Please like, do. Owner of AEW. Like, seriously, we have the most ties to AEW. We even know Sean Spears, so it's kind of very good chance. Well, I'm want to make sure I contact you and ask every week now. I'll be like, where's my contract, boys? Come on, get that contract. Well, let's try. Did you meet cool people <laughs> in Regina? I did, yeah. I, I saw. I saw that. Oh, yeah, the coolest person, definitely Anja. She's the coolest person. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Regina's cool, man. Um, I met quite a few cool people. It's there. not very well known, but it's really cool once you actually get there. Once I was out of, like, yeah. out of the, um, I was in America and I made some friends there and I said I was from Regina and they were like, where's Regina? So... Not much people know where Regina is, but it's very good. Right, it's cool. I like it. It's different compared to London. London's always so busy. Regina was 
like really quiet. I could walk around the street and uh, not bump into someone, or I could cross the road without getting uh, a car speeding at me. So it was it was definitely a nice change of scenery. Yeah, it's never busy in Regina. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I've heard London's really nice. Uh, did, what was the biggest thing you learned during the filming of the movie? The biggest thing I learned? Um, um, what did I learn during the movie? How much I missed my family back home. That's, how, that's the biggest thing I learned. That was the biggest thing. Uh, yeah, I really, I really missed, missed my family, so being away from them. I think uh, I don't take your people for granted. That's what I learned. That's what I learned. The people back home. So Cage Fighter 1 World Collide will be on pay-per-view around the world except USA on Fight TV. We've been told that Regina is the city that rhymes with fun for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> And I've been told that many times <laughs> as well. And yet I still didn't realize that, that after being here for a long, long time. Yeah. So I think that's it. Thanks for taking your time with us. And by the way, where uh, Alex is right now, it's 8 p.m. So thank you for doing it with us at that time. And... Thank you for letting us into your home. Bye. See you guys later, man. Peace, man. Yeah. See ya.